everyone. Welcome to the Bench Podcast on this Mock Draft Tuesday. What? Mock Draft 2.0 today for fantasy football, of course. Long way away from uh, the Green Bay draft, but that's immediately what I think. Yeah. God, I missed. Can't wait for the draft. I know it's over a year away, but. <laughs> yeah, the draft was a fun time, especially this year with, you know. Good times. The show. Yeah, draft is a fun time. Uh, but also fun fantasy football. That's what we're doing today. Fantasy football, Mock Draft 2.0, uh, episode 135, of course, joined by my younger brother, co-host, Angel, what's up, man? What's up? Uh, you did it again, and you know I don't like. Uh... I don't care. You're younger. If you're, I don't know why that's a big deal to you. You, Angel's younger. I don't. I mean, are you okay with it? Yeah, I'll go with it now. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? I Welcome. feel. I, I feel at thirty, it's okay. Like you're fine. No, because the older like, you get, no, the more I don't you, even notice younger. Those are teenage scars. I need mm. to let that go. Uh, we're good. Full therapy. <laughs> a lot of therapy. Full right therapy there. live on bench. Uh, what do I usually say? Just your your co-host, handsome brother. He's a great open. Yeah. <laughs> Beginning of July. Over yeah. at the producer's desk, double barrel action, registered Packer owner, and 605 on a good day, A.J. Woodson, Gabe oh, Tovar. Oh. What's up, boys? Man, I'm feeling little good. brother, actually. Ooh. I just want to see how that actually sounds. I'd love my, to be a little well, brother. My little brother. Oh, to, look at this guy. Okay, no, no to, be, to be fair, I said younger brother, which I feel is less. Oh, yeah, that's better. Like, that's, uh, you know, it's not little, like, not little boy brother. Well, don't, you know what? Don't say I feel like this is a U issue. No, Baby brother. That's what it was. Baby you said, brother. No, you said little brother. No, I said younger I today. No, no, but in the past you yes. said little. That's yes. what bothered me. Like the word phrase. I could just go little bro. My little baby bro. Little buddy. No, no, no. My no, little no. buddy. <laughs> my Do my not, buddy to my side. Do not say little buddy. Oh, man. This episode is for July 2nd, 2024. Happy July, boys. Yeah, it's yes. already July. Woo. Wild. We're almost there. This is the dog days of the NFL season. Oh, God. When we're just on life support. We're just. You know, I, in, in my mind, all the NFL fans are just like, you know when a fish is almost dead after it's been out of water? You yeah. just get a little flop every now and yeah. then? That's NFL fans. Right? I literally turned on Madden today because like, I miss football so much. I'm playing the old rosters. I don't care. I just want to play football. I don't do this anymore because I don't have a game uh, console. But I used to, when I really missed football, just put a game simulation on and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> just like watch, go watch hold the on. Eagles I mean, Cowboys hold play. On. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, there's a great story. I was with AJ at his house. We we're, we're, okay, this is out of nowhere. We're watching, we're going through 2K rosters, just uh-huh. like how you did with kind of like Madden. Yeah. But then we put on a simulation of Kobe, of Kobe's yeah. team. <laughs> and then AJ's like, fully serious. Like, look at that ball movement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a simulation of a 2K. This is a well-coached yeah. team. It's, it's, like, it's like 2K10. That's how just Kobe to no, bite him. Like, I'm like, hey, hey. That's good ball. No, movement. but we do the same thing with football. Like That's now, like, ball. like I'm on Twitter. Like, there's nothing. It's just random quotes or like. Because at this point, we've seen all the highlights from last yep. year. Yeah, a million times. A million yeah. times. Uh, I'm not one to watch old games like in no. totality. No way. You know what I'm saying? Like even the yeah. Eagles uh, Super Bowl win a couple years ago. Uh, I watched that a handful of times, and now I'm done with it. Yeah, yeah I don't think I've seen, even the Broncos. When a couple years ago, I haven't seen that in a long time. Just, I, I guess knowing what happens. Just I random. think we watch highlights. Of fantasy of our fantasy guys more than anything else. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah like so. I watch my my guys all the time. You know what though? We're getting a little uh, a little jolt of life uh, on tonight. Tomorrow, we'll be, I mean uh, July second yeah. tonight. Yep. Uh, Hard knocks off season starts. The the, uh, the Giants. It's, yep. It's t- t- Tuesday. July second. Tuesday. Yeah, when July 2nd. when this is oh, released. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. July second will be there. That'd be cool. I mean, for you guys, I'll Saquon definitely Barkley. carry you the next four weeks until we get to right, like, right. the training it, camp. Yeah, newsflash: we'll be covering uh, hard knocks on <laughs> the next episode one thirty six. Not only because it's not, not because we are just bored, because they did the uh, Brian Burns deal, the Saquon Barkley, Saquon Barkley uh, yeah. we'll departure. The, we'll see what's in the first. I mean, did they drop the whole thing? Uh, no, they do it week by week. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll so see it's in this first episode. It's yeah. going to be like free agency, right? Remember in the yeah, middle of, of COVID. When the only thing sports shows were talking about was Michael Jordan's Michael documentary. Jordan, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my and, gosh! Uh, yes. Well, the first thing wasn't the first thing. Uh, Tiger King. Oh god! And that was remember yeah. that that date. That Tiger King is like it seems so it's long so ago. married with the COVID. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, Sixty six days till the start of the NFL Six-ish season. Uh, I believe nine Sundays left, and this is the last month. We don't have NFL football games, wow. so we're yeah. almost there, we're boys. Almost there, yeah. Hang in there. Uh, if you're watching here on YouTube. For the first time, welcome to the channel. Hi. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, mm-hmm. and uh, stay in those comments. You guys have been awesome in the comments. Um, I, I, there's a guy who took a shot at all of us. Uh, oh, yeah. What did he say again? Uh, they, he said that we look like a group of guys who have never done anything athletically, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. Well, That's pretty funny. I mean, it is funny. And I wonder. And, but you don't want to be the guy who's like, well, in high school, actually. 
Like but, you kind of want to let it go. But yeah. also I'm like, oh, but, I dropped all my accolades. No, yeah. but, but also it's like, also were it's you like, all CIF? Yeah, you know, but also it's like, I bro, think so. I'm not some slouch. I've played sports growing up. Like I'm not some. Like, I understand why now it looks uh, like that. Angel. But obviously, Stop. see that's that's why I don't. Yeah, want don't no, do no, that. No, 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 see no, no, that? That looks no, bad already. No, 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 just, no. Because obviously we played sports growing up because we have a sports podcast. I looked for the guy too, Henry Slat. Thank you. No, you always want to. You always want to put a face to these idiots, and they're all yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. You. I invite anyone who's watching this show, specifically to, Henry. If you have a disagreement with us, feel free to call in. Like, <laughs> honestly, hit me up. Yeah, in, no, hit for me real. up in the comments. We will have you on this show, Wait. and we will talk um, about. Did your, your investigation go far enough to see like nah, get eyes could, on? No, nah, it was a bunch of other guys. I want to see if I could beat him in a forty, or one of us could beat yeah. him in a forty. Uh, also, be? thanks to everyone listening on <laughs> Apple, Jeez. Spotify, Our Heart Radio, and Amazon Music. Like, subscribe, turn notifications, leave yeah. a review, and then follow the show between the show on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Search at Bench Show. Uh, to follow us there. And lastly, check out benchshow.com. Uh, I got two articles, three articles, I think, in the waiting. I think an NFC, NFC West preview, uh, I believe a fantasy article, and then an NFC East preview. So those are about to be dropped yes. soon. Check those out on benchshow.com. That is the Bench Beat fan, uh, articles on fandom, fantasy, and all things NFL. And of course, sign up for the weekly email. We're in July. Uh, that means fantasy seasons is starting in about a month. Yeah. And we're going to start dropping this uh, weekly uh Bench, we haven't really named it yet, huh? Bench report is what it is right now. Honestly, it starts sooner. Like I'm, I'm thinking, last year, might be. mid July is when our our league's trade started ramping up. Yeah. Discussions. Yeah, it might be. So sign up, um, sign up now so you can you can be getting that. We're doing a mock draft today, of course. Twelve team PPR, no kickers or defense because that sucks. That sucks. And uh, of course, the bench and uh, two flex spots. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. If you're still playing kickers and defense, it's time to. Wake up. It's time to grow up. Yeah, it's time to grow up. Okay. That's how you start off. You always, you know, that's your starter league. Now it's time to advance. All right, let's get some birthdays, boys. Happy birthday on July 2nd, too. He's going to be in the uh, the remake of Freaky Friday at 37 years old. Lindsay Lohan. Wow. Mm. Yeah, they're going to remake. Do you guys see that? Wait. Didn't watch the first one. Is she What? Old? I never cared for the first one either. What? Honestly. I had never seen it either. I literally just watched it two days ago. You're um, a fan. I love Freaky Friday. Yeah. Wait, so. Is- I could never predict what aj's a fan of oh man because i would have now guessed free hey you came in bagging on episode two episode uh two of this season three, of, three, or three, three of this season of uh of, house, uh, of house of the dragon and but you're but you're, you're riding for and I'm, 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 I'm gonna make one thing real cl- clear too i was the first one in this room to become a fan first and one watch at Game that table Thrones, for at sure that desk, you are right at the yep. desk, you are the first angel one. angel i don't want to hear it <laughs> um but i love freaking you Friday. definitely were all ahead of me I, I i was on the game of thrones um, late it's a remake or is it like a no, part it's a, two? It's a sequel. Oh, it's a sequel. Like, oh. that, that era, Freaky Friday, Princess Diaries. That's a any Prin- chance Princess they, Diaries a banger. Cinderella Prince Story. It's a good movie. So. Any chance they sample the uh, Chris Brown Freaky Friday song? Because that would be awesome. That'd be dope. It's, time, Dis- it's Disney maybe movies. Two on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> what is Disney nowadays? I don't know. Uh, happy birthday. Speaking of that era, 38 years old, Ashley Tisdale. 38. Wow. She, wow. she definitely got a nose job. That Wow. Interesting. She, uh, uh, favorite uh, Ashley Tisdale memory. I, I, she's just only, there's only <laughs> one <laughs> today. Uh, high School Musical. I'm sure she's done other stuff. I've never seen Zach, any of you guys. High School Musical. Zach and Cody. Oh, she's yeah. in, she's she's Zach and Zach Cody. Cody. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm, yeah. You're right. Yeah, Phineas so and Ferb. I didn't watch that. My wife likes Phineas and Ferb. Phineas Ferb. Um, were any of you guys into, uh, I was, yeah. Uh, high School Musical? Not a chance. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I was, yeah. I yeah. mean, Vanessa Hudgens. That's the that's old Vanessa. Angel, I don't even think you were. I think I I, oh. I think I, I think your girlfriend wow. at the time was because a lot wow. you, have, you have a lot of those stories. That's a lot of words, Gabe. Angel also watched Glee. No, yeah, uh-huh. he wa- he watched Glee because Glee. Of the girl he was dating. I watched Glee. Angel apparently. was a total Glee. Let's just out all of my. <laughs> no, I'm, hey, I'm y'all I'm, getting I'm, on me for Freaky Friday. You sometimes, really took it on the chin right there, Angel. You know, sometimes to get there, you, you, you got you, you got to watch. Some I've shit. watched stuff from some females. I will tell you what, I, I I tell you what, I know every episode of like Glee. You need to stop that right now because I recently watched Glee and you watched it with me, and that girl's long gone. Well, I still <laughs> like the show. Um, yeah, God, I, I could go on and on about stuff about yeah. things you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we do watch a lot of stuff. We Happy birthday! I believe we got a new contract today. Derek White of the World Champion yeah, Boston Celtics. Big contract. Yeah. Twenty nine years old. Yeah. Um. Shout out to the Celtics. They won a championship. Now they have more than the uh, LA Lakers. How do you feel about that, AJ? A little Celtic shout out. Honestly, like, you know how big of a fan of the NBA I am. Yeah. It's just not, not the all. same. So it's not, it doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. And I can, in good conscience, have Kobe behind me in several places and shout out the Celtics. I can't do it. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I, it's I, it's crazy, though, that that Derek White, you said he's 29. That draft class, 29. that twenty that was that 2017 Lonzo ball. They're getting up there. Kuzma, yeah. Kuzma's going to be about to be 29 or 30. That's a Lonzo. These guys are getting 30. Jeez. Dang, dude, Lonzo. Lonzo ball. I still feel like man. he's new. Shout I know. Out. You still, still feel like he's pretty much is new. There's not a lot of tape on him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's always hurt. Happy wow. birthday, 76 years young, Larry David. Uh, wow. TV producer. Yeah. What else is he? Is he just a producer? I thought he was like a host. Stand, uh, stand-up comedian. Yeah. Does he have that show on HBO with the... Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that any good? I've tried it. It's all right. It's, it's, it's from that time. You guys into the bear? Love it. Bro. Love it. I haven't started the next oh. season yet because me and my... Because she started it, so now I have to like not watch when she's in the room, but season one was phenomenal. Dude, I watched season three in one day. Or season two, yeah. One day, one day, the new season. So good. Uh, let's do a little, a couple movies here. Uh, 1991, released on this day, Boys in the Hood. Wow. Yeah, mm. big, big after big. school special. Ricky! That was okay. the, I didn't know that was happening when I was a kid. I was really sad when that happened. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> he died? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> SC just lost a good prospect. <laughs> I guarantee you, SC just. Rebounded very yeah. <laughs> They probably forgot all about it. <laughs> he moved on to the board. Ripped up his oh. letter. <laughs> Whatever. Also released on this day, uh, Spider-Man, Far From Home in 2019. Okay, oh, solid. Nice. Solid. Yeah. Solid I feel like it's a Spider-Man every time I get on here. Like some I mean, Spider-Man. So much Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man movie. And it's yeah. summer. They're all yeah. came, coming out around this yeah. time. Yeah. Um, Ice Ice Baby, released in 1990 on this mm. day. <laughs> that's a very classic. Reminds you of Step Brothers. Step Brothers, yeah. That's a very classic. That'll last a that's our, it takes you back to a certain yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gabe, Master of Puppets, released 1986. Oh. Like that. Um, Talking, baby. Uh, Hancock. You guys into Hancock? I like that movie. When it came out, it was cool. You yeah. know, I've only seen it one time. I it's... thought the coolest scene was in the trailer when he steps in front of the train. For oh, some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, when I was a kid, was I cool. always remember that scene. And Char- that also started the concept of like, what if superhero like just didn't care? Yeah. yeah. And now, and now it's like everywhere. everywhere. You got the boys. Oh, the boys. You got yeah, Invincible. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I'm trying Charlize to move on. Theron was hot too. I'm yeah, trying to move on, but there's just a lot of good. I mean, Men in Black, 1997. This is, I guess, wow. it's summer, right? What's summer. The, how's the Men in Black song go? The we are the Men in Black. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hound Dog by Elvis Presley, 1956. Elvis was, Presley is a singer. If I was at that age and 89 years old, I'd be thrilled. <laughs> <I'd be psyched. laughs> this segment is brought to you by Dad Gang Hats. Dad Gang makes the highest quality hats in the apparel industry. Because they use premium materials, pay close attention to detail, and prioritize durability and comfort. With so many styles, colors, and designs, they absolutely have the right hat for you and the dad in your life. Use code BENCHED76826. That's B-E-N-C-H-D 76826 for 15% off your first purchase. Shop Dad Gang Hats. Quality hats for quality dads. Okay, we are back. And like we said before, it is mock draft time. Mock draft 2.0. That's a 12-team PPR. No kickers. Uh, no defense and special teams because that sucks. Yeah. And uh, two flex spots in their place. And, of course, six bench spots. Super pumped. I mean, last time – I learned a lot last time. Yeah. yeah. Last time I felt like I was I, – I flew into some booby traps. I didn't know where yep. they yep. So I have a different strategy this time. Okay. And uh, I'm pretty pumped. Right now I'm going to randomize this order to see where we're all picking. Here we I'm go. pushing the button in three, two – Okay. I did not move. Dang it! <laughs> See where Jeez. I ended up, AJ? Oh, my, my gosh. God. I'm exactly at the same exact spot. I'm number two. Ooh. Uh, I literally watched that, and I was the only team that didn't move. Okay, so I end up at, at the at the number two slot. A- AJ, right in the middle. Number yes, six. Uh, Angel right behind him at seven. That should be fun. Stealing oh, each other's battle, players. Yep. And then Gabe uh, at number ten. Actually, that I think Gabe probably get the best spot. Yeah. That's a nice little turn. That's yeah, a nice spot. Around that, on that turn in the, the first round. last year. The turn the first round, you get some, there's a nice quality yeah. players right there on, uh, on that turn. Okay. Okay. Let's get this thing started. Dive into this. Uh, in three, two. Okay. All right. CD Lamb yeah, off the board first. He's a uh, popular number one. He's, he's the catnip for this year. Because there's no other competition. It's just him and Dak. And baby. we saw last year, two breakout. Yeah. Jefferson, maybe a step back with the young quarterback. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I'm on the clock here. This is, I mean, so in the past, I, w- I think last year I would have taken Tyreek Hill. I think there's no chance I'm going to pass on Christian McCaffrey here just because he- he's he's the best player by far at his position. Maybe Bijan has something to say about that this year, but I think CMC is a pretty safe bet here, even over Tyreek Hill. Yeah, he's Mr. Consistent, touchdowns, catches, PPR. He's a he's just a dream. Yeah, he's an obvious pick. Slam dunk. It should no. Do not second guess getting Christian McCaffrey this year. Yeah, Easily. don't feel bad about it. Yeah, because we see here right after three more receivers go. So yeah, it's you might you may be tempted to hey I want to grab a top receiver, 
um, and and wait on CMC. No, get CMC yeah. and feel good about it. Jamar Chase, uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Tyreek Hill uh, all go. Interesting to see Chase and Amon Ra before yeah, um, interesting. Tyreek Hill. That's really yeah. interesting. But I, I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. Would you take? Um, um, okay, rank I'm, those guys. Rank those guys. Just fantasy real wise? Yeah, real quick. Tyreek Hill, Jamar no, Chase. I'm going, I'm going Tyreek, Amon Ra, Jamar Chase. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tyreek Hill is hard. You got AJ on the clock here. AJ, top four receivers gone, top running back gone. What you got? Well, so there's a couple. I, I was really eyeing Amon Ross St. Brown there. He's just, that's like, your boy. He's, that's, that's my boy. That's your boy. I, I drafted him his rookie year in our in our family league. Yep. It's been my guy for all these years. Uh, so I was looking at Amon Ross St. Brown. Right now, it's really just the choice of do I want to to choose a running back who's possibly on the ascent or a star wide receiver who could be possibly on the descent, not to his own fault, but because the quarterback situation is yeah. not, we don't know what it is there. Um, because I've seen it before, I'm going to go with the wide receiver here. I'm going to go with Justin Jefferson. Ooh. Here. Okay, that's interesting because Justin Jefferson, of course, in the past is blue chipper. You yeah. take him, you don't look back. This year, with uh, with uh, McCarthy, with Sam Darnold at quarterback instead of Kirk Cousins, uh, any temptation? I mean, obviously AJ, there's temptation there to take Bijan or Brees or AJ Brown. I mean, why go Je- uh, Jefferson over those guys? Uh, just for what I said, like I, I was looking at Bijan over Brees Hall, and uh, really it was just, am I? Do I believe that Bijan is going to be what everybody says he is, or do I just go with who I know is a star and trust that this offense? is going to get him the ball. Yeah. It might not be, you know, as the, the quality of, of targets and, and, yeah. and end zone targets as before, but we're talking about a guy who was far and away putting up numbers way above the rest of the pack. What's he going to com- come down to? Probably still worthy of a, of a number six pick. I feel like that's A.J. Brown. Just It's confirmed already, though. So why not take, why not take A.J. Brown there? Speaking of which... I mean, I was going to say, yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of feel he's more proven. Are you, you going to take him? For me, we've got more. There's more in that Philadelphia offense. There's Saquon Barkley. There's there's Jalen Hurts. There's Devonta Smith. Yeah. There's more he's fighting with in that offense. And we saw last season A.J. Brown had like six incredible games in a row and a lot of duds yeah. around before and after that. Special, so. special championship weekend. Yeah, A.J. Brown's going to give you some duds just because of the presence of Devonta Smith. Now Saquon there, obviously going to get a big chunk of the offense. Um I think, I mean, it possibly could be an incredible deal if McCarthy comes in and they're just feeding them. Like, it's not crazy for some young quarterback to come in and just over-target some. Oh, yeah. of, and honestly, of, yeah. I wasn't even thinking of McCarthy. I was thinking of Sam Darnold. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. So, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't hate it. Gabe, Angel? Oh, I mean, you just bashed on Angel Brown for five minutes as I'm about to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bashing. I'm just saying in comparison no, I, to Judge Jefferson. No, this, yeah. Yeah. Um, Definitely different tier. Uh, uh, Justin Jefferson, obviously, rookie quarterback. But A.J. Brown, a lot more mouse to feed than in prior years. And Goddard is still there. Goddard is still a decent guy. On you know, So it's it's tough this year. I definitely take Jefferson over him. Uh, right now, I'm debating Puka or A.J. Brown. Puka Naku, obviously, incredible year last year. Wow. The There's no hype behind Puka because he's not very, like, cool, I guess. Or not very, I don't know what the situation is. Quarterback's the, quarterback's the same. Cooper Cup was in and out. He was still the same. Uh, Garrett Wilson, obviously, I thought here. Um, but just to mix it up a little bit, just to switch things up, uh, it's still I'm still doing uh, no uh, zero zero RB. I'm gonna go with the young guy Marvin Harrison Jr. Wow, because he's about to have wow. all the targets in all the places all the time. So Marvin Harrison Jr. over Pukunakua, over AJ Brown. Yeah, I think I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is in one for one of, of those historic That's wild. seasons. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's just shaping up to where you don't really. Not really scared of anything else besides Marvin Harrison Jr. If you weren't playing with house money, are you really doing that? Like in, in yeah, life? because it just for the same logic where you took like um like uh CeeDee Lamb, obviously not not the same level where he's kind of the only guy. You have Trey Trey McBride, and that's about it for that Cardinals yeah. offense. Yeah. Uh Kyler Murray has proven to be to be able to support a top tier uh fantasy element. And you know, with AJ Brown, obviously, and Puka Nakua, there's obviously red flags. I think I'll just go for the if I'm gonna go for the for the ceiling, I think his ceiling is very, very high. Um, the next two teams don't take a receiver either, A.J. Brown or Puka Nakua. They go running back. A uh, little run on running backs here. Gabe, you're up. Uh, so, I mean, I took Nakua last one, so I don't want to take him this one. I'm going to go ahead and go with my boy A.J. Brown here. Definitely take him. Hopefully, Nakua can stay on the, in the second oh, round. We'll see. Man, he's Just got to take him. Okay, here, here, <laughs> here on the turn, uh, Brees Hall went. Puka Nakua finished out the first round. And 
I, I I'd be interested in the, I'm going to look it up. Puka Nakua's ADP, where he's going right now, because that is an interesting guy to draft. Yeah, he's interesting. Because, yeah. I mean, I hear that he set every rookie record last year. Yeah. Literally every freaking one. Why is he not top five? Then he <laughs> balled out in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, let's put, let's give Marvin Harrison Jr., say he does what Puka Nakua did last year. Next year's fantasy draft. He's like the one point two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is literally. I don't know what it are is. Are we just a bunch of racists? Uh, like, I, 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 st- I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe just yeah. he's not. He's not wide let's receiver. Just, let's just sit. Let's just sit. He's not black. If he was black, he'd be. It'd be cooler. To but pick, I mean, pick and you're a racist. We've literally drafted his teammate, his white teammate, yeah. at like yeah, the one point one spot. Yeah, I think line. a little bit has to do with pedigree too. Right. Marvin Harris Jr. is taking a top ten. Yeah, I think maybe last year yeah. Puka Nakua is a first round pick. Well, that made people more apt to believe it. Right. So maybe it's like, hey, show me one more time. It's interesting. He, but he's an interesting that guy. could be an incredible value. That I game. think that's what it is. It's like, show me one more time. I was just talking about Amon Ross St. Brown. He's been my guy in our league. But I, I even after that yeah. rookie year, I wasn't. I I think I dropped him and then like got yeah. him back that's from a our pretty from good our, comparison. Because yeah. he did. He was a fourth round pick. I think. Uh, Monroe, yeah, yeah, Fourth and then he pick. had a good second half of his rookie season, yep, yep. and then he kind of didn't, didn't really believe it. And now, obviously, yeah, I think you just you got to show it one more time. Yep. Uh, Gabe, yep. you're back up. You picked AJ Brown the first time. What you got this time? Oh, man, you got Barkley there, but I mean, I don't want to take two two of the guys that they're going to be feeding the most in Philly. So probably go with the guy that gets going to get tar- targeted a lot this year. I'm going to go with my old school friend Devontae Adams. Ooh. Oh, running it back. Uh, I got I got uh, Nakua's ADP to kind of wrap up that point. He is going number 10 overall. Yeah. So people so right are where he right around where he's at. Yeah. I think in the last mock draft, I had him in with my first pick. Yeah, you did. I did him and then Marvin Harrison in the second round, I think. I don't so running team. backs starting to fly off the board here. Saquon and Kyron Williams uh, go back to back. Kyron Williams, I just, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm hearing Sean McVay talk about uh, homeboy. A little more now. Um, Blake Corum. Blake Corum. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I, I don't trust Sean McVay with no. running backs. It's not, it's not Kyle Williams. It's Sean McVay. Yes. That's yeah. who you don't trust here. Because he's a liar. He will lie to you. <laughs> uh, so, Kyron, I mean, the drop-off is pretty stark here, though. Yet, A-Chain, ETN, Jacobs, Henry, Pacheco, kind of that tier now. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Uh, but we'll see. Angel, you're up. You took, you took Marvin Harrison Jr. And uh, I'm guessing... Zero RB is the way to Zero go. RB is still here. Um, Fire away. A, another guy who is in the same realm as Puka Nakua. Fantastic year last year. Quarterback on, is getting better. Uh, Nico Collins. Another guy who we don't really <laughs> know. Yeah, where to we gave him a little up. love a couple, couple weeks ago. Yeah, God. Nico Collins is, is interesting. Um, because that, that group, Nico Collins, Marvin Harrison, and Puka Nakua. Like, you don't really know. No one has the balls to take yeah. them top five. But they very well could be top five yeah. picks. And then and, and in our draft right now, I'm about to take New Collins. But, like, yeah, he, I, I'm curious to see where his ADP lands after preseason, after all the hype has done. I'm kind of see, curious to <coughs> see where that happens. AJ, any chance you or I and Nico Collins there? Uh, you, you pick right after. So, it, it's funny because he's another. He's one of my guys in our in our family league. And I, I kind of try to, like, I don't want to be, like, a homer. And I don't want to, you know, yeah. go after my guys. So And I did draft him uh, at the, uh, the 2.12 in our last draft. Uh, so I'm trying to kind of see a little bit some different faces than yeah. we did in our first mock draft. Uh, but I, I mean, I love Nico Collins, and, and exactly, he's, he falls in that same category that we were just talking about. Yeah. I, but yeah, I love Nico Collins. Um, um, honestly, I thought Angel was going to go after one of those top two receivers left on the board. Uh, now, if contract situations were uh, concrete, mm. I'm taking Ayuk here all day. Yeah, uh, but I don't really like any of the running backs here. Uh, Devon A. Chan, is he gonna is he gonna get the volume? Is he gonna stay healthy? Travis Etienne, uh, uh, he's not really a bell cow. Uh, Josh Jacobs, um, I just I've never been a Josh Jacobs believer. Yeah, unless he's playing for a contract. Right, right. Jeez. And then and then you know Derrick Henry goes without saying. Uh, when's that cliff gonna come? So I think I'm going with uh, the receiver to my other receiver's former quarterback, Mr. Drake London. That was quite the intro. What did you say? <laughs> receiver the to receiver my other to my former other receiver, quarterback. former quarterback, Kirk Cousins' new new uh, wide receiver. That was a mouthful. Cousins. Okay, so Drake London, I was I was hoping, I knew it wasn't probable that he'd get back to me here at the back end of this uh, second round, and he doesn't. Drake London's a guy I would want here because, as far as wide receiver ones go, I think that's the end of a tier. Yeah, with the guys left now. No. Uh, I'm looking at at a wide receiver here, real quick, Nico Collins. ADP uh, twenty three overall. 
So like end of the second round is kind oh, of where yeah. it's going. So mm-hmm. really, you just took him according, according to ADP, a little bit like earlier. five or six picks. Yeah, ago. not yeah. too bad. Yeah. Okay, I took Christian McCaffrey my first uh, go around. Let me take a look at the quarterbacks here. Just peeking him. Uh, Josh Allen's there, of course. I saw Josh Allen ranked as the number one fantasy uh, dynasty asset. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Just, yeah. Uh, um, what's the age difference between him and Patrick Mahomes? Uh, Mahomes is obviously older. I'll take a look. Yeah, I have no idea. But I mean, Mahomes is older, but not by much. He's right? just always. He just scores so many. It's points. because because he runs the ball. He runs he's, the ball. He's yeah. the red zone running back. That uh, that's yeah. he's the goal line back. That's why he's you know. Am I gonna talk myself into taking Josh Allen in the <laughs> second round here? I don't know. He's pretty good. So Brandon Ayuk's there. Obviously, that's a volatile situation. Even if he say gets. If I take him and he gets traded to Washington, am I that excited about that? Probably right, not. Right. You know, um, I'm not too excited about him in San Francisco either, because it's up and down. You, you have you, you, two catch, 28 yard type games. Stephon Diggs, you know how I feel about that. Yeah. Um, there's not a receiver I love here. Am I going zero receiver? Why, why do I keep I keep doing this to myself? But I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm going Josh Allen. At least I get an elite somewhere, and I got Josh Allen and Christian McCaffrey. I'm back, right back around here, and uh, I'm going Jalen Hurt. Just kidding. Real quick, yeah. real quick. Yeah. Josh Allen is uh, a couple months older than Patrick Mahomes. Oh. They're both 28. Josh it, Allen's May, it just Mahomes, doesn't run. It's just the running. Okay, right back to me here on the turn. I need a receiver. Um, no one I love here, but I guess <clears throat> I'm going to make a bet on uh, a quarterback I like and in turn take the receiver that I think he's – no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <clears throat> Anthony <laughs> Richardson and Pittman. Oh, okay. I don't have the balls to do that. I thought you're going you're going to go <laughs> Stephon Diggs. I'm going DJ Moore. Oh, I'm I going DJ yeah, Moore. Yeah. Uh, I think he gets an upgraded quarterback as far as throwing the ball, and uh, hopefully he stays the number one guy there. I think he does. I think he's a, he's the best receiver there. Yeah. Yeah, Devon A. Chain. He's sorry. He got picked after. He scares the hell out of me. He does. He scares me because Mostert was not like some irrelevant fancy. Run. He finished number two last last year. And they year. drafted a guy pretty high. Yeah, so A chain is getting like Damian Pierce a little bit. Fancy. I think they just want a stable of super yeah. fast running backs. Like we kind of can. They're all interchangeable. A chain goes. Stephon Diggs, Mike Evans, AJ Europe. Uh, okay, so you you were just talking about Pittman. I, I'm I'm in Pittman here. Um, I think there's another. another one. Depends on how. Zero RB. I want to go. Uh, last time though, it did dry up pretty quickly. <laughs> so I think I'm going to count on another receiver I like coming to me later in this draft, and I'm going to take Isaiah Pacheco here. Ooh, uh, consistency. That's why people are going to love him. Right. Uh, you you will not go under 12 points for a game. You know what I'm saying, and you may reach 20 if he scores a couple touchdowns, which in that offense very well. Anyway, uh, Angel, you're up. Jacko just went, HN, ETN, running couple running backs there? Yeah. That I'm happy for them. Um, <laughs> I'm going with the guy. It's not even going to be a surprise who I'm going with as my third wide out. Uh, he's got to be on my team on every team. And I just I freaking forgot that you're behind me. Yep, yep. And I was like, oh, he'll be back. Oh, yeah. 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 Jorge Pickens. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's uh, yeah. George Pickens. Yeah, about to have a great year. Um, so he was like, who the hell's Jorge? He's probably, <laughs> he's probably my favorite person to draft this year. I, I mean, forgot. Did you take him in the were... second round last time? Uh, yeah. yeah. And now, I, I got, Angel, I got you don't think you could have waited till next round? I mean, no. Well, he waited another an extra round this time. Last time he yeah, literally took him in the second round. You really believe in that? I dude. forgot you were behind me. I was going to take him on the yeah. next. George Pickens, well, Bravo, ah, S O B. Yeah, Pick Owens is my team, but uh, yeah, confident in him. Gabe, you're up. You took uh, AJ AJ Brown, Devontae Adams. What do you got now? Um, I'm going to lock down the quarterback spot just because I just you know, oh man, I really wanted those running backs too. Um, I'm going to go with the guy you guys love him. You guys know him. We face him week one. Mm. Jalen Hurts. Touchdown machine guy, little li- little worried about the turnover fat fat, fat factor there, but he scores a ton of touchdowns, See, so I am okay with it. The only with, thing with Jalen Hurts is that if Lamar Jackson's available, I think I'd pick Lamar Jackson over Jalen Hurts. Or am I crazy? Well, I just crazy. I would take Jalen Hurts. Yeah. yeah I, I, well, we talked about it earlier. Like he has too many weapons to I feed. Mean, that that could only mean a good thing. That, all to say that both, only means that Hurts is going to be scoring a lot of these. They're both A plus picks. I think Jalen saying, Hurts yeah. is probably a higher upside throw in the ball. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I picked Jalen Hurts. Lamar um, did go like two spots. Real right quick, after, so. George Pickens, because I want to give people a realistic ADP. Angel keeps taking him in, like way above. <laughs> uh, he's getting he's going fifty sixth overall, so okay. fifth round, fourth okay. round, around there. Fourth, yeah. Um, so just so people know, people, I, are, I'm people the, are like, I don't know what to think. <laughs> we're, gonna get, we're gonna get people just taking Pickens in the second round. This guy told me to do it. <laughs> uh, but it, listen, if you love him, go get your guy. Yeah. 
Gabe, you're up. Uh, you just took Jalen Hurts. You got your two receivers. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to stay with the receiver uh, train here. I'm going to take... Yeah, I don't know. You know what? Is it too early to take a tight end at this point? I mean, if it's... What do you think? How are you going to build your team? I'm not giving you advice, dog. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to beat you. You're not giving me advice. You're giving the people watching advice right now. Um, Let's see. I mean, okay, let's answer this question real quick then. Tight end, yes or no? Well, I think after the... It, I think it's tiers this year. I think McBride's in a tier of his own. Then you have the Kittle. Um, you mean Laporta. Sorry, sorry. Laporta, I'm yeah. sorry. Laporta is in a tier of his own. And then you have the Kelsey. You have that kind of... Well, yeah. well, who is in that? Uh, Kelsey. Kelsey McBride. McBride, Kincaid. Kincaid, 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 yeah, Kincaid, Mark, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews. Yeah. I think it's definitely tiered out. And then you have the, three, the third tier, which is like... Then the, you have your tier. You're hoping Kyle Pitts can... It's like the in joke. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk Laporta then. Fourth round. Third pick of the fourth round. Are you taking Laporta? Yes or no? Laporte. Yeah. You would take him comfortably here? Yeah, I, I'll take Laporte on the second round. If, Laporte's yeah. gone. Laporte so, went in the No, I know. That, that, that he went already? Was, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was yeah, looking yeah. for 2.8. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I would Kelsey. not take anyone but Laporte here. But yeah, it would just Gabe, be Laporte. I'd invite you to. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, I have a lot of faith. I have a lot of hope in this guy. I think being the only big name there, and it's not really that big of a name, but I'm going to take him right here. Dalton Kincaid. I like. Ooh. I think the volume this year can be great for him, especially with Diggs out. I, I, you know, Josh Allen has something to prove. He's going to go to this guy. He's going to go to this guy. You, I mean, very well could. He could be. I could see him getting Laporta type numbers. Uh, Angel, you're up. You went like you always do. Three straight receivers. George Pickens, of course, to cap it off. Uh, fourth round. What do you got? <laughs> um, I'm going to go back to a guy who's uh, got hurt last year, but he's Mr. Consistent at tight end. He's. I need a, a stabilizing agent. Uh, he's probably kind of boring this year, but it's going to be a pretty good value if. You have all these tight ends in the same tier. Mark Andrews from the um, um, Baltimore Ravens. Solid pick this year and an unsexy pick, but safe. Yeah, I like I like Mark Andrews. Yeah. I think he's going to be uh, wide receiver two at worst there, but most likely one. wide receiver one. Cool. Um, we'll see what happens with Zay Flowers. AJ, you're up. You uh, pretty balanced so far, but no quarterback yet. Is it time or not yet? Uh, not quite yet. Well, I, was, uh, too. I was eyeing Pickens here. Uh, thinking I was like I was looking at him for the third round, thinking I could probably catch him on the fourth. I forgot Angel had two picks right <laughs> before it came back to me. So yeah. I, if I had I known that, uh, maybe I would have took him. I'm not sure. Um, what's the deal with Cooper Cup? What's the deal with Cooper he Cup? Dropping that I is about that too. That is the question. One of the questions of the offseason. What's the deal with Cooper Cup? Do we draft him high? Is he just yeah. is his role been taken by Puka Nakua? What's I mean, so, so ADP here is 41. So people are definitely lower on Cooper Cup than in past years. And I also realize I've been looking up the ADP when it's literally right in front of me. Uh, but <laughs> AD, ADP is, uh, oh, is, yeah. is 41. Last year did, did catch, I mean, 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. <coughs> I mean, it's just, is he the number one anymore? Right. No. You know, but. But I, am, I, am I drafting a number one receiver right in, now? In the fourth round? I mean, I don't know. Cooper Cup's know, tough, that's... man. We saw a fall off last year. We saw Puka Nakua is good. Yeah. I think because the guy who replaced him is like doing what he's did. It's like, better. ah, better. Maybe even better. It's like, I don't know if you're worth. And then it depends on the, on the build of your team, obviously. But as, as a wide out one, Cooper Cup would be kind of scary for me. And I think it would say a lot about what you believe about Matthew Stafford if you yeah. could take him here. Because yeah. you better believe Matthew Stafford's going to be a 5,000, uh, 4,000 yard at and least. Then, at least 4,000 yard passer to support two of those guys. And then healthy enough to sustain them throughout the whole season because right. Stafford has an injury history. So that doesn't help you at all, AJ. No. It's all to be said. It's all up to you. So thanks. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with the running back here that I, 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 I tried the zero RB last time. I screwed it up by the oh, time I got to the it. end. Uh, I'm going to go with the guy who's I think is going to have plenty of volume here, steal another one of Joey's picks. I'm going to go with James Cook. You always, I feel like you all, I always wait too long on James Cook, and you're always the guy to take him <laughs> right in front of me. Well, well in our league, Dang it. you traded him to me last year, and then like yeah. another trade fell through, and then you were trying to get him back. Like that's been, it's been a battle between me and you for James Cook. It's someone that I'm always trying to get, and yet I can never keep him like Right, team. right. Like I just always throw him in a trade. But anyway, uh, okay, so I'm up here. I've picked one of each position. So did not at all sticking with my, with my plan. <laughs> uh, the problem is you can't go zero RB if you're picking number two and Christian McCaffrey's there. Yeah, right. Like you know, I'm just that's I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna try to keep going zero RB here as far as the rest of the draft. And I'm gonna just stop looking at, at running backs. Go to the receivers. Look for receiver number two. Devontae Smith is there. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I just 
I mean, if I could find a guy who's a number one on their team, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go him almost every single time over anyone's number two. I don't care. I don't care if it's Jalen Waddle or T. Higgins. Um, I think Zay Flowers is interesting here. Yeah, because he could be the wide receiver one. They could. Pep, they added no one to the receiver core. Yeah, I think they, they, they re-signed Bateman. Yeah, like that's it. Yeah, he's interesting because um, the, his, his usage is weird. That's the only thing I would because it's either screens or like, like then uh, maybe year two he blossoms route. Wide, but yeah, he's the number one option on paper for Lamar Jackson. So that's a. I feel like Lamar. Jackson, I don't know if this is true at all, but I feel like just as the years go by, he's throwing it down the field less, or at least making those kind of plays less. Um, okay, trying to talk my way out of it. I can't. I'm going to go Zay Flowers here. That's a little bit of a projection pick, but uh, the upside there, I think, is a, is a legit wide receiver one type. Uh, Trey McBride goes. CJ Stroud goes. I'm back on the clock here, um, and I'm going to go tight end. <sighs> I'm going to go with this guy, and it's it's a it's a roll of the dice, but what it could be is one of the best receiving tight ends in the league. We've been waiting on him for a couple of years, Kyle Pitts. Okay. The prince that was promised. The prince that was promised. <laughs> that, I knew angels have a little comment no, about that one. No, I, I was watching Game of Thrones today. I'm like, oh, my God, that's Kyle Pitts, the yeah. prince that was promised. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, who's the uh, – what's the the queen that never was? Oh, yeah, yeah. I named yeah. that one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that Bijan? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, AJ, you're up. You uh, Two receivers, two running backs. You have the two most consistent run- – like, those are – those are my style running backs right there. Yep, yep. that's like, what I was going I don't for. need flashy running back play. If I get those two guys, I'm going to at least. I want to see 21 carries for 85 yards and a touchdown. Yep. A couple targets. Yep. Yeah, I like it. Uh, we got. Uh, okay, so um, I'm kind of continuing this trend of balance. Didn't think he would be here. Screw it. I'm going with Anthony Richardson. I like it. I like it. I mean, he is he's gaining momentum. Yep. He's gaining hype. There's a little bit of a scare about his shoulder, I guess, and OTAs. They say he's going to take some days off, but they've already cleared that up and said no, no restrictions going into the training camp. He's ready to go. Yep. A lot of people arrow straight up with this guy. And so you don't hate it. The videos that pop out of like all these other activities, obviously they mean nothing for on the football field. You see right. the video of him throwing down like a reverse dunk. Right. But it reminds me of the ridiculous athlete that this dude is. Yeah. It's in, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, Josh I'm, Allen I'm, 2.0 is what he's supposed to be. We'll yeah. see what happens. Angel, you're up. Uh, zero RB continues. Um, yeah, probably. I'm I'm trying to find a find a wideout here. It's honestly between Amari Cooper and Keenan Allen, the battle of the old boring guys. <laughs> um, but I mean, Keenan Allen. That's an interesting. Keenan uh, Allen's a weird one. Yeah, because he has more in the Dunes there. Yeah, you have uh, Jerry Judy now in Cleveland. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and then. Tied to Cleveland, you have Watson. So you have to be a Watson guy to get the Amari Cooper stock. Uh, and that's the one thing. Like, are you a Deshaun Watson guy? I am not a Watson I tend guy. to not be a Watson guy. But, no, I think I- I'm actually going to break. I'm going to get my first running back. Um, touchdown machine, an offense that produ- – this role has been producing 14-plus touchdowns for the last two years. An offense that's going to be one of the best in, in the league. Boring. David Montgomery. Um, gonna, we'll finish in, in the top 20. Just mark it down. He's like a better version of the Pacheco James Cook yeah. style. Like he's, he's gonna pretty get 10. boring, but he's gonna have just a little bit more production. Yeah. Like a lot of multiple touchdown games. Yeah. Because they'll just throw him in the red zone and steal touchdown. And Jared Goff runs. I think he scrambles statistically the least amount last year. Yeah. Oh yeah. So a lot of check downs and a lot of goal line running. Mm-hmm. Uh Gabe, you're up. Uh at this point, let's see. Got my two receivers, got the tight end, got the quarterback. Best available, not yet. I'm going to go with, you know, I'm going to go with my guy who I really believe is going to have just be a touchdown machine. I just, I don't want any jerks to draft him. You would out of spite. Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed. Oh, oh, I didn't, I was joking. (laughs) That's your boy. I I am reaching for this guy because I firmly believe he's going to have a, just a great year this year. He's going to be on every one of your teams. Like Pickens is going to be at every one of Angel's teams. Like he's going to go with your guy. Yeah. Uh, Gabe, you're right back up here. I'm guessing you're going. Wicks or <laughs> Christian Watson? Um, Which package are man, I would love Addison here. If Addison actually, you know, if he wasn't dealing with that, with his quarterback issue there, Keenan Allen could be nice here because he could be my flex too, which means my receivers would be pretty much running the show for my team. Um, no running backs. <laughs> like that. It's great content. 
<laughs> well, I, I'm just looking at my team. Right? I'm trying to see what I actually need next. Um, you know, screw it. I'm gonna go with them. You know, I'm gonna go with Swift Ooh. right here. Oh, DeAndre Swift. Yeah, just um, filling the filling that running back spot for me. Kenneth Walker goes. Uh, Keenan Allen finally goes. I feel like we've been flirting with him for a while now. Um, Angel, you're. Yeah, I'm going to pick the uh, the guy who should who probably just got his most talented quarterback that he's ever had. Uh, Scary Terry sitting here, uh, top thirty since day one. Mm. Never has reached his potential because of because of quarterback play. I think Jaden Daniels goes there, very talented guy, pushes the ball downfield, which is important for fans. You want those those big those big plays. I'm picking Scary Terry here. I, don't, I just I'd have no idea who's in. it's a coin flip. What receiver is going to be okay though? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just well, this this they is all me. Scare me. This is me. I'm believing in the talent of McLaurin and believing that Jane Daniels could just be decent his rookie year, and that would make and me. then hope that he, that's the one he chooses, not Dotson. It probably would. No, no. I, I, it's it hasn't been Dotson yet. I'm, well, I'm first year. I'm going to rely on Scary Terry, Mr. Consistent. AJ, you're up. Uh, okay, so first name that pops out to me here is uh, rookie receiver Roma Dunze. I think he has. Uh, a chance to, I mean, I think it for sure by the end of the season, he's the wide receiver two there. I think he has a chance to take over as a wide receiver one in that offense. Yeah. Um, just, we just, I, we don't know. Uh, clearly, you got a rookie receiver and a rookie quarterback. I'm, me picking him here is me counting on both of them right. to be the guy that they were drafted to be yeah. right away. Uh, so I'm going to go with a guy who's flown under the radar, been climbing the ADP over the weeks. We talked a little bit about him uh, a couple weeks ago. I'm going to go with Kansas City Chiefs, Hollywood Brown. Ooh. Holly Brown's interesting this year. He, I mean, oh, he's like a high price dart throw. Yeah, I mean, just because if he hits, we've seen him be a top 10 receiver. Yeah. With a much less like talented quarterback in Lamar Jackson as far as throwing the football. Yeah. And then he's had the injuries and he went to Kyler and then. Kyler got hurt, so he's been kind of forgotten. And that, that was that's that's why he's gotten forgotten. Yeah. Because his first year in Arizona was killing it. I think it was yeah. the first yeah. six oh, games yeah. of oh, the yeah. season. He was he was like a top five fantasy wide receiver, was, and then he got hurt. And that was without Hopkins. Right. Hopkins. Right. Yeah, yeah right. it was a weird year. Yeah, for Hopkins two years was suspended. Even to he, start last year, he was killing. It. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, if he if he if you draft him and he becomes what he used to be, and I mean that's the thing. Like he's shown that he is that guy. It just and depends like on if the offense is going to... Right, right. Conversation last yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Chiefs, <laughs> it's crazy. the Chiefs have been trying to get this guy, too. Right. Like, Sky Moore, MVS, like, they've... Tony, like, these fast, like, in the box, uh, as far as, like, fast, like, cone speed type guys with also the long speed, and then they just went out and got the real deal with Hollywood Brown. Like, yeah. it could be huge. He's only 27. I think, I think it's his fantasy picture that makes him look yeah. older. Like, like his, yeah. his picture looks like he's like, 31. It would, it would not surprise me if he goes off and they sign him to a long-term deal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, it's just, it, it's just, it's a powder keg of talent. Yeah. Um, okay, let's move on here. Adunze goes, Burrow goes, and then the guy I was hoping to take at this pick, uh, Ramondre Stevenson went right before my pick. Ramondre Stevenson is going to have a huge year. Yeah. He's going to have a monster year. Um, I probably should have taken him before, but oh, well. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson's gone. The other guy I was looking at here is um, another veteran running back going over to the Minnesota Vikings. I think he has a huge year. Um, if he could stay healthy, I'm going Aaron Jones um, of the Minnesota Vikings. That's even weird to say. Uh, but, yeah, Aaron Jones there to pair with Christian McCaffrey. I'm right back on the clock. Calvin Ridley and Xavier Worthy go, two guys I want no part of. Yeah, especially Xavier Worthy. Uh, Calvin Ridley, I'm, I'm not taking that bet anymore. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. I'm not going to do it. So something we all need to pay attention to is Rishi Rice. A story came out today, uh, I believe from Jeremy Fowler, who's kind of like a legal, has a legal background. So you want to listen to him when he talks about this kind of situation with Rishi Rice. He says there's a strong possibility that it's like the Kamara situation in that he plays every game this year. Mm. And because of the appeal, the suspension is kind of held off for a little bit. Push back. So I'm taking Rishi Rice here in hopes that he plays week one and just picks up where he left off last year, is a consistent uh, flex one, maybe even wide receiver two type numbers. I'm going Rishi Rice. Dak Prescott, Jordan Addison, Kyler Murray go. AJ, you're back on the board. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep the the theme here of balance. Um, tight end is interesting here. I don't – there's a few names down lower that uh, I'd be fine having. Uh, wide receiver is probably where I'm going to go here. 
Nobody really jumps out at me though. It's a lot of uh, am I you know am I counting on am I counting on Bryce Young to be to be something and 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 get the ball to Deontay Johnson. There's some names down below I wouldn't mind having. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with another guy who's flown way under the radar. This this guy was I just looked looked at right now. This guy was tight end too in PPR last year. You're taking him. Uh, it's not so much a change of like more mouths to feed. The same amount of mouths to feed last year. I'm going with Evan Ingram here. Oh, broke the uh, tight end catch it, catches record. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ferguson going so, oddly enough. Yeah. Crazy. I'm going with Ferguson. Evan Ingram. What a weird guy to become like a super consistent tight end. This late. This late in his career. career. <laughs> Wild. Uh, Angel, you're up. Yeah, uh, I haven't picked a quarterback yet. I think this guy is flown under the radar. He's, he, he, was, he was number nine last year uh, as, as far as quarterbacks. Uh, only an ascending player, Gabe's boy, uh, Jordan Love. I like it. Yeah, I think a, a consistent quarterback too. A little bit running element to his game. Solid pick this year. Jay Love goes. And then Najee Harris, another guy that I think is very interesting this yeah, year. Yep. Uh, Brock Bowers, Ugh. rookie tight end out of the Raiders goes. Bowers. What not that sound? <laughs> Bowers. I, no? This early now. And, and poor dude, because it's not him. It's yeah, where he was it's just, If he went anywhere else, like, you'd be anywhere, really excited. Anywhere. But yeah, just, I don't like that either. Gabe, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go with my guy from last year just because he scored a bunch of touchdowns for me. I think with Miami kind of not really doing too much in the, this year as far as the offense goes, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going, we're just rolling. That's no good. Fill in that wow. wild, wild, running, running back, back to two spot. Who is it? Raheem Mostert. Raheem Mostert. Mostert. Uh, right back to you on the turn here. You pick Raheem Mostert, and now you're pricking probably what? Samir White? Or? Uh, <laughs> geez, thanks, Joe. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, I think my, my team's fully booked up here, so... I'm going to go, let's see. Oh, he really is boring this year. There is like nothing on the board. You know what I like? I like, I got a couple of names coming up. <sighs> Sweet dead air. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm sorry. I just, Come you know what? Here, here. I'm going, I'm going to take him. I don't think Metcalf stays um, in, in Seattle too, too much longer. He, ah! he might be someone to get right now. Good pick, man. Yeah. JSN's interesting. That's exactly. Yeah. Smith and Jigba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, what I a, mean, that was my thoughts exactly. Like, I think, I think, I DK, DK was there there, longer, yeah. yeah. Jason was hurt last season. Uh, yeah, just like Joey said, it was a weird rookie year. I think he ascends this year. Also, too, I had already my, my four spots were already gone, so I could roll the dice on him. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty solid rookie year. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'm up here in zero RB. I got to start taking running backs now. I'm looking for workhorses or guys in good situations, in good offenses. I'm going. No, I'm going Zach Moss. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals starting running back. Uh, good offense. Joe Mixon has been relevant there for a long time because of the offense. He's. I, I think Zach Moss has a good year. Uh, yeah, it, it, that that offense is it, going to be in the red zone a lot, and it's going to and it, and they're a pretty good team as far as running in the red zone within the five yard line. I like Zach Moss a lot this year. All right, Zach Moss goes. AJ, you're up. Uh, okay, so I I mean, Samir White's interesting here. Um, but I think I want to stay receiver. I like having a receiver heavy offense where both of my flexes are receivers. Uh, I'm going to go with, it's between Keon Coleman and Lad McConkey, And I don't mind taking one of these rookie receivers here as my wide receiver four. Okay. Um, I will go, I'll go with Keon Coleman here. Keon Coleman, interesting rookie wide receiver. Um, if he can be the number one, that's a very valuable fancy guy to have, man. Yeah, I mean, Josh Allen's number one. He obviously has been a top guy. Yeah. Um, I think it's worth the flyer here. Yeah. Uh, Zamir White goes, and then the two, literally the two guys I was going to, I was going to pick <laughs> either Javante Williams or Jonathan Brooks. They go back to back right in front of me. So now I got to rethink this whole thing. I don't want Eckler. I don't want Brian Thomas. God, the list really sucks now. I really want one of those guys. Uh, I'm looking for my flex too. So I don't want to, but they still don't have a wide receiver one there. They picked him in the in in what the second round or early in the draft. Lad McConkey of the L.A. Chargers. I don't know. He keeps ending up on my team, and I don't I don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not welcome. <laughs> uh, Nick Chubb goes. DeAndre Hopkins goes. Uh, and I'm back on the board here with the same list of guys I didn't want in the first place. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit and stop looking at those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate Labagonky. <laughs> I'm fine. Come okay. Over. I'm, I'm going to take a little, I'm going to take a little flyer here. Uh, and here uh, I'm going to count on someone. Here we go. Maybe having their first top no! 10 season of their career. We'll do it. I don't think it's the same guy as you. Okay. 
Last time he was with Joe Brady, he went off. Oh. I think he has a shot. He could be the wide receiver one. Top 10. I don't know, but he could be the wide receiver one. He could be. For 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 the Bills. Yeah. I'm going Curtis Samuel. Woo! Curtis Samuel, interesting. Brian Thomas goes Jalen Warren, David Njoku, AJ Europe. Uh, all right, maybe I didn't. I, I thought you were going here. This is a guy that I, I like. I love Amon Ross St. Brown. If I can't get Amon Ross St. Brown in drafts, I'm going for Jamison Williams. Mm. Uh, they ju- Josh Reynolds is gone. They didn't get anyone else. They, they didn't get anybody else. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big Jared Goff fan this year. Me and Gabriel will have a little discussion about that on a, on a future show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a big Jared Goff guy this season. I'm going with Jamison Williams. Uh, I'm indifferent to James Williams, but if he doesn't do it this year, he's not going to do it. Right, this right. year is the year to bet on him. He's going to get the shot. Yeah, yeah, you're going to. So yep. You're going to be holding the lotto ticket at the best possible chance. Yeah, so I, I don't hate it. Hey, uh, Angel, you're up. Uh, yeah, I think uh, so. Zero RB. You're looking for workhorses and, and and good offenses. I'm going with the running back from the L.A. Chargers, Gus Edwards. Gus mm-hmm. Bus uh, still has a little bit of juice left in the tank, and going to the offense that's going to run the ball a lot. Um, so I think boring, but. For a zero RB, he's kind of the RB that you, you kind of want to target. Yeah, just not fun to draft. Him. Not fun at all. <laughs> Austin Eckler, talking about not fun to draft. Austin Eckler here in round number nine. Reluctant. Oh, the mighty have fallen. Uh, speaking of what Dallas Goddard was after, he used to be one of the top tight ends. Not, no longer. Uh, Gabe, you're up. Looking for backups for my receivers. My whole team is stacked, according to me. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get the backup. <laughs> Apparently, he solved the hamstring uh, issue. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and get my boy here. Christian here Watson, go. true number guy, true number one guy. Packers offense is just different when he's on the field. Remember last time Gabe said, I learned that I know everything. <laughs> and, and this time, he's just like, my team is stacked. I, uh, Gabe, you're right back on the I, board I, here. I just feel really good with it. I, um, I hope you're all paying attention. Gabe's putting on a master class. <laughs> go ahead, free. Gabe. Christian Watson. <laughs> Let me see here. Wicks available. He learned how to run differently. So it's hamstring. <laughs> Wicks and Dobbs available here. I'm gonna go ahead and take. <laughs> Actually, I'm. You know, I'm gonna take a backup here. I'm gonna take a backup. I think if I wait any longer, I'll have something crap. I'm gonna go with Tua as the backup. Backup QB. Yeah, Tua yeah. is a fantastic backup quarterback. I'll tell you what, Gabe, man. Gabe zigs when people zag. <laughs> he says I'm going back a quarterback with Tua. Well, because I'm looking at my team right now, it's like I, I've already got the starters down there, and let me, let me get some good bench players at the top. And Hawkinson was tight end one going into last year. Here he goes in the tenth round. That ACL man, what a freaking dirty hit! Yep, it makes me so mad. Yep, Angel, you're up. Um, so the zero RB, you want to go for workhorse backs and good offenses. Not a ton of that left. Now you get to the average offenses. I think it's between two between. Two people here. Zeke Elliott. What, what are you laughing at? Because I want you to take my guy, but go ahead. Okay. Wait, wait. Who, between two, who? Now now I'm trying to guess Joey's guy. No, no, no. Just stick with you. what you're doing. Well, I, Blake Horn would be... Would and be, and be uh, I'm going to choose the guy you don't pick here. So, Joey, yeah. you can just sit back and relax. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it, for me, it's between those. It's whoever you don't choose. Yeah, so I think I have a lot of boring guys. I think now I'd want upside. I think I'd go Blake, Blake Horn from the LA Rams. Oof. Nice, and I will be taking Zeke. Yeah, I think okay. These two guys, I don't touch Zeke with a ten foot pole. No, really? thank you. No, thank you. Um, Blake Corum, yeah, it's a good. It's a good lottery ticket. His floor is pretty low. Yeah, he right, 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 be a, right, right. Uh, I'm actually going with a safe pick here because they're gonna. Ah, oh, dang it, he went right after <laughs> Zeke. This keeps happening to me. I think Singletary is a safe pick. They're gonna be yeah. perpetually behind. <laughs> like, they're gonna be checking down they're to Devin Singletary awful. all the time. Yeah. I mean, Devin. I think in the tenth round, not a bad pick. Obviously, he's not there because perpetually behind. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um. Okay, Corton Sutton. I think is the guy here. Um. He's gonna be a number one receiver on a team that will be in some not shootouts, but they'll be having to put the ball in the air a little I mean, bit. I mean, last year, as born as Marcos played, he was still productive. Corton Sutton. Yeah. Not a starter, but wide out four, wide out three. I like it. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Dobbs goes, sorry, Gabe, and then Jerome Ford goes next. I'm back on the board. <laughs> I can't wait to kick your ass. <laughs> it's going to be such a good night. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go. Um, Khalil Shakur is the irresponsible pick. Uh, no, I like it. What? I like uh, it. But I'm going to do it because... We've all said this. He might be the Bill's number one receiver. <laughs> so I'll take Kluger. 
I think that's the third time that statement has been. It literally is. In all seriousness, that's going to be one of the bigger dart throws of this season yep. is the Bills' number one wideout. And it's worth a shot. Because you saw what Stephon Diggs was. You saw what last year when they spread it out. You saw what you know uh, Shakir had had some solid weeks. And then Chris Sam obviously coming in this year. It's like it's if you nail that one, you might that, that's called a league winner. Yep. Yep. Uh AJ, you're up. Uh okay. So uh guy I'm looking at here. Uh I I if he's anywhere else, I'd I'd like to take a look at Jerry Judy here. I'm not a big Deshaun Watson guy. I don't think anybody here in this room is a big We're Deshaun not. Watson guy. No. And and man, just again how the mighty have fallen. Yep. Just what we were talking about, is he the other Patrick Mahomes a couple years ago? Yep. Um there's another guy I like here. Are you like quarterback here? No, I've got my quarterback. I okay, so, sorry. I don't, I don't need a backup. This isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> it's real to me. <laughs> um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and take Chase Brown. We we talk about Zach Moss a little bit as being the uh, sure for sure point. number one there. Do we know that? We don't. So Chase Brown uh, balled out in his opportunity that he did have last season. I think he's going to get a little more opportunity this year. So. He's at least going to be like a flex type guy, yeah. I think, because he'll be involved in the offense. And uh, I think he's a better, insanely fast. I think he's a better version of what Jalen Warren was last year with Najee Harris. His twin plays for the Eagles, Sidney Brown. Yep. And uh, last year, right before the season, I went to get sushi with my wife and sat next to Sidney Brown and just didn't have the cojones to tell him I knew who he was. Here in LA? In that, yeah, right there. In wow, the, uh, that's cool. Topanga, um, what's it called? The village. The village, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And uh, Katsuya? Yep. Nice. I yep. love that. I love that. It's nothing right. to do with the village. Angel, <laughs> Angel you're up. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go for the uh, random shot at the village. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Village sucks. It's, like, sucks. Yeah, village sucks. It sucks. it's just a great sushi spot. It's terrible. They, yeah. really they got good cool food there. and nothing else to do there. Yeah. Um, okay, there's two guys, and it's super boring, but for wideouts, this is a nice backup between Tyler Lockett and Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers has the... Gardner Benchu thing, so that kind of maybe last. It's better than, than what he was last year. Last year he was number number twenty four overall wideout. Yeah, but Ty Lockett obviously yeah yeah the upside, but you also have JSN. JSN is a ascending player. They've already come out and said that they want to make him a feature part of the offense this year. And I think as I spoke it out loud, I talked myself into Jacoby Myers. <laughs> so Jacoby Myers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Jacoby Myers. Then Justin Herbert goes. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, the, um, tied for the highest. Per year, Tony correct that they go together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabe, you're up. They're white. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all know why. Say it, Gabe. Say it, Gabe. <laughs> no, I'm just saying we we don't talk high about those guys ever. Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy here. Injury history, but a new team. Hopefully, please stay healthy. Uh, J.K. Dobbins. Ooh. Just roll the dice with them. Don't have to start them right, 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 right away. He he broke my heart too many times. Yeah, I know. But, I know. He's your guy. He's 25 years old though. But I if mean, he if he's the guy there, that's a, uh, yeah. You get we'll him. See. You get him th- th- this late in any draft. I think that's it's good for you. Some guys might go un- undrafted yeah. for that reason. So you might is you know you might be able to get him for free. Gave you back on the board um, here at the turn. What you got? What Packers are left? Marshawn Lloyd. Actually, I'm gonna take your boy Angel. Oh, here we go. Jerry Judy. The Judes. Ooh. Jerry Judy goes, Kendry Miller is someone who's interesting. You just don't want to have to spend anything real on him. But he's an interesting guy because once Kamara's out, I mean, they got with Jamal, Jamal Williams. That'd yeah. be an interesting one. Uh, Troy Franklin also could be the number one receiver there in Denver. Angel, you're up. Yeah, uh, this guy got a big contract in a role where the, that we saw last year. All this, all, this, all, this route, all this role is on this team is just run straight down the field and we're going to throw bombs, which kind of has been his entire career. Gabe Davis, Jacksonville Jaguars. Just a dart throw, just a bye week fill in, just a trade throw in guy. I'm going um, Gabe Davis. All right, Gabe Davis. Um, sure. Y- you hate? I know you. Hate. I just, I just, I don't love Trevor Lawrence. That's the thing. It's I Trevor think, Lawrence. I, see, I think that he's in that role, and I think he, I think he's a fine receiver. Yeah, he's fine. He's a fine number two. Yeah, uh, it's you good. Uh, okay, right here, looking purely at flex. Uh, you got guys like Jalen Wright, who's interesting. Yeah, with, he with is. That, that Dolphins offense. You don't know who who is going to be week to week. Uh, Ty Chandler's uh, spoken very highly of uh, uh, for the coaching staff out there in Minnesota. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to throw a major dart uh, on a guy that this staff loves, and they use some some big draft capital on him. I'm going to go with San Francisco 49ers wide receiver oh. Ricky Pearsall. Does, Good old Ricky P. We're going to have a Ricky P. Uh, heat check as well on yeah. the board. Yeah. Oh, we need yeah, to we yeah. need to hold them accountable for what they did. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so Ricky Pico, honestly, now, now is the time to take your shots at the young receivers. Dr. Yep. Um, I think as sexy as a rookie receiver is a second-year receiver, if you can make that jump. So I'm looking here at either Josh Downs, mm -hmm. which was, you know, uh, I think a decent wide receiver, yeah. a two-ish yeah. type guy. Yeah. But another guy I'm looking at here is might be a, a shoe in for the wide receiver one on his team with a rookie quarterback um, on the New England Patriots. That is Jalen Polk of the New England mm. Patriots. Um, Deep sleeper. Uh, yep. Could be the guy. But we're in round 13, so that's someone take him. for sure. Aaron Rodgers goes. Wow. Yep. Any interest in Aaron Rodgers? What's your radar here fantasy-wise on Aaron Rodgers? Back up? Back up. Yeah. Back up. I don't yeah. want to go with him as my number. He, he, he has to throw a lot of touchdowns to be worth it. So you would be comfortable starting Aaron Rodgers as a week one? If he's in your my fantasy? guy. Yeah, no, there's okay. too many other quarterbacks above. No, no, yeah. I'm just saying in case anyone yeah, waits no, a long time, or in case you've got a guy that gets hurt in training camp. Yeah, I'm okay with having Aaron Rodgers but on my roster. Rodgers is just how the mighty have fallen. Aaron Rodgers yeah. at one point. Jeez. I'm gonna go with the running back here. Um, ah, no, I'm not. They all suck. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the receiver here. <laughs> No, uh, I'm not. Fuck that. I'm going to the receiver. <laughs> quick, quick change. Uh, okay, so I like Josh Palmer as the possible number one there, but I just don't believe him as in the talent to do it. I'm going to go with Jahan Dotson oh, of the nice. Washington Commanders as possibly the number one there to make Angels McLaurin pick just feel terrible. Oh, I feel pretty good. Josh, I actually feel great about it. Great. Josh down goes Rico Dowdle, Josh Palmer. So I'm going to go with... You're going to be tired at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Your team, don't tell me your team's good. You have two running backs. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go with uh, a guy, the clear wide receiver, too, in his offense. Clear. We're taking fly, uh, flyers right now. I'm going to go with Roman Wilson of the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. I was looking at him. I was looking at him. I just didn't have the titanium knickknacks to do it. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I like him. Yeah, I'm taking uh, upside. I'm taking a shot in the dark. I'm taking a guy who played well last year when guys in front of him got hurt. Uh, luckily enough, he has Christian Watson, who's very good at getting hurt. So I'm going to go Wicks here. Uh, dart throw, pretty good. We'll run last year. We'll see what happens this year. So sorry, Gabe. So sorry. Uh, Gabe's up here. Last two picks on this turn. What do you got, Gabe? Look, I'm not rooting for it, but all the hype we're giving to the Falcons right now. I, I was in love with this guy a couple years ago, and then the situation just turned terrible. Again, I'm not rooting for an injury, but if that were to happen, I would like this guy mm. this late in the round. Or this late in, in the draft. Gabe's boy. Algier. Tyler Algier, yeah, not bad. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Stafford goes right after uh, Tyson Chandler, Kate Otten, Brandon Cooks. It gave your backup. Um, at this point, geez. At this point, I'm just going with the best, best available at that spot. And my team, once again, looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, just want, I just want the confidence that Gabe has in his team every year. Um... Yeah, I don't have a backup tight end, but this is not real, so I don't really give a shit. Uh, <laughs> it's a great message. <laughs> I'm happy that people have been watching for like an hour now just to hear you say that. What's up, Derek? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know Derek's still here. Um, yeah, I'm going to – okay. Uh, dart throw, number two. I already have the number one on, on this offense, so it's not really handcuffed wide out. But number two for an offense that's going to be better than last year, um, Michael Michael Wilson, nice dart throw. We'll we'll see what happens there. Michael Wilson from the mm, Cardinals. Yep, yep. Yeah. Michael Wilson out of Stanford. I he came with a lot of hype. Yeah, good pick. Uh, AJ, last pick. Yep, we're talking dart throws. Last pick's got to be your ultimate dart throw. I'm going with uh, a rookie running back on a team who uh, could. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> who uh, we don't know who the number one is. Uh, uh, could be him by the end of the season. Kimani Vidal of the Los Angeles Chargers. Yes, uh, Kimani. Uh, okay, so I guess I'm not going Kimani Vidal. That was going to be my pick to finish it. I'm going to go with my guy. I always like to have him on my team because he plays multiple positions. And mm, he I just know. Swiss Army knife. Plug yep. and play, baby. Tyce, 34 Taysom, years old. Taysom Hill. Uh, I'm going with him to, to round out my team here. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, okay, real quick, non fancy football question. Would you start him or uh, Derek Carr if you're the Saints? Like, what should I do? And what would you do if you're the GM or head coach? Who... Start Derek Carr. Start Derek Carr, okay. yeah. Okay, I, I might type, start Taysom Hill over Derek Carr. At, at quarterback? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's much I don't like Derek Carr. You lose your job. <laughs> this is why I have a podcast. <laughs> so you want to be an assistant. <laughs> or I would love to see you explain that one to the owner. Listen, I know you wrote a listen, fat check to this guy. But, but this hear guy, me out. This guy is an athlete. But this 34-year-old career backup <laughs> also plays tight end? That's the guy. No, man. I'm sorry. That's wild. Yeah. 
But anyways, um, how do you want to go through our teams? Let's just let me go through them myself and comment them myself and tell you if I like them. <laughs> Gabe, I'm gonna start with your team. Here uh, we go. Your running backs are terrible. DeAndre Smith and Raheem Mostert. That's irresponsible. Uh, okay, well, they weren't my number one and two pick, though. Uh, I was kidding. No, to be honest, to be fair, you have I think you have great receivers. That's definitely your strength. I love the Kincaid pick. I think that's my favorite mm-hmm. pick on your team. Um, any thought? Any thoughts on Gabe's team, guys? Yeah, it's the uh, if if Jaden Reed turns out to be the number one, the Oof. AJ Brown, Devontae Adams, Jaden Reed trio is pretty nice, and pretty hard to keep up with. Yeah, um, solid team. I just the running backs scared me, but I'm a zero RB, so I don't really care. So just get a backup though. Trade for one at least or something. You yeah. have no backups. I, I think the thing that I learned most and is really from you guys is that that number one Bills guy is just going to be huge. Like everyone's yeah. going to be going for Bills. Yeah. I think Kincaid is probably the best the best choice you got. Whoever whoever does get him, but I mean that's going to be a huge answer. That's really what I'm learning through, the, through these yeah. mock drafts right now. Let's uh, let's switch over to AJ's team. AJ, I scroll down this list and I'm in love with your team until I get to your flexes. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of question <laughs> marks there, but there's some upside there, and you kind of. They're just a bunch of dart throws. So if you can just get two of those guys to work out in your flex, I think you have a monster team. Right. That's kind of my my strategy here was get my my starters, right? I got to that last spot, that eighth round. Yeah. And it's if any of these guys from eighth, the eighth round and below hit, then I've got my full starting lineup. Yeah, but as far as I mean, the other are just phenomenal. I love your running backs. Obviously, I'm a huge Richardson guy. And then Jefferson in London is is phenomenal. Yeah, Evan Ingham has uh has become the safe tier two tight end. I think you don't Want to reach for the top ones? Landing on at Evan Ingram isn't terrible. Uh, let's do mine next, and then we'll finish with Angels. Uh, Angel, what do you think of my team? Uh, I think it's good. Uh, um, it's the, it's the, it's your flexes. Okay, for starting from McConkie to Curtis Samuel to Shakur, you had a lot of dark throws. So week one, two, three, you might be a little bit. We, don't really know which one it is. We but, kind of a similar build here, right? Yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. Uh, Aaron Jones is a little more volatile, but. Everyone else is pretty safe. Um, I tell you what, Chris McCaffrey and Josh Allen's pretty decent. It's nice to see. That. It's <laughs> that, nice yeah. to look up and see that. That's that's, that's nice to look at. Yeah. All right, sure. let's uh, let's round up on Angels and guys. Feel free to just go in on them. Uh, <laughs> Angels up here. He does have Zach Moss in his starting lineup, and uh, Jordan Love. I, yeah, you got, you got some uh, question marks here. Angel. Uh, that's just I've learned that too. I, I like to take chances on guys a lot, but the only guy I take a chance on really is Zach Moss in my starting lineup because everyone else has proven to be at least talented okay, let, enough to be. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead about your zero RB plan. Lay it on me. You did zero RB, and the receivers you ended up with were Marvin Harrison, Nico Collins, George Pickens, Terry McLaurin. Yeah, because in my that, mind, Marvin Harrison is a top five, top top five. He's got Marvin Harrison yeah, top five, George Pickens top ten. That's why I, in my mind. And <laughs> no, because here, okay, I'll 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 explain. I'm Marvin saying, Harrison Jr. You, I'm saying you laughed at me for Swift, and and, and I mean uh, yeah. my guys are as far as like the wideouts. Well, I also have depth. You have like two. You have literally two. I have well, depth. no, I mean that's fine, but we have the same exact thing. But I think my receivers are a, now, a my, lot better than yours. Now mine are handsomer too, so I think I just want <laughs> AJ Brown. AJ Brown is handsome dude. <laughs> Okay, so we'll wrap up that point real quick. Uh, AJ, I'll let you, since it's between you two guys. Uh, handsomer uh, running backs, Gabriel's or, or wide receivers? Wide receivers. Oh, it was, it was, it was receivers. receivers. Handsomer uh, receivers. Well, Gabe's got uh, JSN and Christian Watson holding it down for the light skins. So yeah, I, you, nice. you know where I'm going. That's so, nice. That's sorry, so disrespectful. AJ. Sorry. All, but, <laughs> <laughs> so disrespectful. Like an hour and a half in, man. Shame on you. That's our show today, guys. Thanks so much for joining us for episode 135, Fantasy Mock Drive. Hey, good job, guys. That's yeah. a good draft. Learned a lot. You feel better about this one than you did the first oh, one? Oh, definitely. I hated my team. Yeah, for sure. Uh, join us great. at the... <laughs> I feel great. I feel great. Uh, we'll be back later with uh, episode 136, end of the week. See you then. Peace. Bye.